Now you put the grinder all together, it's time to use it. But before you do, I do encourage you, read the manual on operation because it will give you some tips and tricks and techniques that you might not already know. A general overview of using the grinder is make sure you know exactly what it is you want to do before you turn the grinder on. Always wear eye and ear protection and depending what you're grinding, you might also require a dust mask. Some simple procedures, plug the grinder in and stand to one side when you turned it on. Allow it to generate to its full speed before presenting any material to be ground to the wheel. Never grind on the side of the wheels. And it's a good idea to have a water container handy just in case something you're grinding gets a bit hot, you can put it in the water to cool it down and quench it. When you've finished grinding, turn off the grinder either by pressing the stop button or by hitting the cover with the emergency stop. Bear in mind, even though it doesn't have power, it will still be spinning. So make sure you haven't got anything around that can catch, get caught or tangle up in the wheels. And it's a good idea when you finish grinding, turn off the power at the wall and remove the plug. And that'll stop anyone from accidentally turning it on and creating a situation. So that's it. That's how to use the grinder. Now some maintenance on the grinder. So the first thing I do whenever I'm doing any maintenance, checking on any power tools, I look at the plug. Now to do that, it means I have to switch it off at the wall socket, remove the plug and inspect it. Inspect the leads to make sure there's no damage and that the tangs on the plug aren't damaged in any way either. Make sure that there's not anything caught in any of the wheels and it runs freely. A couple of bits of maintenance you can do. After several hours of use, you might notice that the wheels aren't square anymore or they might have grooves in it. If that's the case, what you'll have to do is dress the wheels. Get a wheel dresser. There are several on the market. This is just one of them. This is a diamond dresser. And what you do to dress the wheel is you place the diamond dresser on the tool rest while the grinder is running and just rub it backwards and forwards and you'll find it'll clean up any imperfections in the wheel. When you're using one of these, make sure you've got a dust mask on as well because it does generate a lot of dust. Look after it, keep it clean, wipe it down with a, a damp cloth. Make sure that these tubes at the back aren't clogged or blocked up with any waste from metal that you've ground. If you have to change a wheel at some stage, turn it off at the wall, remove the plug, and then undo these nuts around here. The cover will come off. There are nuts on either side to undo. Remove the nut, take the wheel off, put it back on, tighten the nuts up, replace the guards. Bearing in mind, one side is a right-handed thread and the other one's a left-handed thread. And that's the end of the videos, that cover the description, use, maintenance, and safety tips on using the 8-inch low-speed 750 watt GR S200P from Carbotech. This is Steve Hay, signing off, saying remember to be safe, be creative, and enjoy your woodwork. Catch you later.